Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Monday, June 27th, 2022. Big show today. We're going to recap Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Final. We will recap the weekend's baseball, WNBA, Major League Soccer, Men's College World Series. Um, Look ahead to what's going on today. We'll recap the Travelers Championship. The Wimbledon is underway. Um, NASCAR will recap the races from the weekend. News and notes and my best bet. We'll start the Stanley Cup Final. Game number six. As the Avalanche win the Stanley Cup. And win the game by a score of 2-1. to one, Third time in franchise history that they win the Cup. Congrats to the Avs. Phenomenal season. I believe that they... Have been the best team all season long. And they deserve to win it. I mean, I know the Panthers won the President's Trophy. But I just felt that the Avalanche were the best team in hockey all season long. And Nathan McKinnon finally gets his moment as a hockey player. Um, winning the Conn Smythe was Kale McCarr. 27 points in... The, um, I believe they played 24 playoff games, if I'm not mistaken. Because, um, no, 22. They played 22 playoff games because two of their series is one six and two of them were sweeps. So it was eight plus 12. So no, 20, which is crazy. The number three star of this game with the first goal of the game is Steven Stamkos. Number two star of the game with the game tying goal, Terry Lekkinen. And the number one star of the game with the... Or no, Lekkinen scored the game-winning goal. The game tying goal and an assist, Nathan McKinnon. Um, Stamkos scored 348 into the first period to give the Lightning a one nothing lead. Second period, 154. And Nathan McKinnon is 13th of the postseason from Bone Byram and Gabriel Landis. Kyle tied it at one. By the way, Sam Kosa's goal was assisted by Andre Palat. And the go ahead goal with 1228 into the second was Atari Lekkinen from McKinnon and Josh Manson to give the Avs a 2 1 lead. And they held on for the win. And they are now Stanley Cup champions. This has been a great season for the Avs. They were cup or bust this year. They're going to be cup or bust for the next couple of years as long as their main core is together. Um, a lot of people thought they were going to win it last year. Some people even had them winning it in the bubble. But they finally came through this year. And this group of players is going to be in it for a long time. Meanwhile, Tampa, um, their window is closing now, I would say. There's a lot of teams in the East that are coming, like the Rangers, that are going to be there for a long time. You'd expect the Islanders to bounce back. Um, the four teams that in the East that windows are closing are Pittsburgh, Washington, Boston, and Tampa Bay. And you could argue you throw a fifth in there in Toronto. Those five teams' windows are closing. But they could extend those windows... With great off-season moves. That could just extend the window. I know sometimes windows close for fears when they're reopen. Like that was the case with the Rangers. Like their window closed. They rebuilt and now their window's back open. So sometimes that, that way could happen as well. I mean it's not a failure that Tampa lost the series. They made the Stanley Cup final again. So... You can't say the Lightning didn't have a successful season. They made it back to the Stanley Cup Final in a year where the East had every team in the postseason, or every team in the Eastern Conference bracket in the postseason had over 100 points. And I think the Lightning coming through yet again is just a great accomplishment for that group. And... I thought that before the postseason that the Stanley Cup Final was going to be Avalanche Lightning. 
before the season, I had Avalanche Islanders. Obviously, the Islanders were a huge flop this year. So, um, sometimes you really shouldn't buy into the hype of a team that um, gets expectations placed on them. And that could apply for somebody like the Rangers next year, potentially, if things go wrong. If you're the Rangers, you don't want to be the Islanders of next year, where you just flat out flop and don't even make the playoffs. But the Lightning, um, we'll see what they do in the offseason. I'm sure their current core is going to stay together. I mean, if they had Braden Point throughout the whole playoffs, especially in this series, maybe they win. Nazem Kadri coming back was huge for Colorado. They don't win the Stanley Cup without him. If he doesn't come back in this series, then the the Lightning probably win this series. Because that's how important Nazem Kadri was in the Stanley Cup final for the Avalanche. So, a lot of what-ifs of the series as well. I think the right team won. Um, But the Lightning kept battling. And uh, luckily they didn't get blown off of uh, home ice. Like they got blown out in Game 2. And like how the Avs got blown out in Game 3. So, fun series comes to an end. And now the attention turns to the draft and the off season. Okay, now I'll move on to Major League Baseball. We will go over the results from the weekend and look ahead to today's games. Friday, Mets over to Marlins 5 to 3, Astros over to Yankees 3 to 1. Red Sox over to Guardians six to three. Rays over to Pirates four to three and ten. On a walk off single by Harold Ramirez. Dodgers over to the Braves four to one. Nats over to Rangers two to one. Orioles over to White Sox four to one. Rockies over to Twins one nothing. Royals over to Athletics three to one. Blue Jays over to Brewers nine to four. Cubs over to Cardinals three nothing. Mariners over to Angels four to three. Tigers over to D backs five to one. Padres over to Phillies one nothing. And the Reds over the Giants, 4-2. Saturday, Astros over the Yankees, 3-0 as they throw a combined no-hitter. Christian Javier, Hector and Reason, Ryan Presley. So, what an impressive no-hitter, shutting down the best team in baseball from a record standpoint. That was really impressive by Houston. Rays over to Pirates, 6-5. Orioles over to White Sox, 6-2. Cardinals over to Cubs, 5-3. Rangers over to Nats, 3-2. Mets over to Marlins, 5-3. A's over to Royals, 9-7. Brewers over to Blue Jays, 5-4. Red Sox over to Guardians, 4-2. Giants over to Reds, 9-2. Twins over to Rockies, 6-0. Braves over to Dodgers, 5-3. Mariners over to Angels, 5-3. Tigers over to D-backs, 6-3. And the Phillies over to Padres, 4-2. And Sunday... Marlins over the Mets, 3-2. to two. Yankees over the Astros, 6-3. to three. Ten innings on a walk-off, three-run shot by Aaron Judge. Red Sox over the Guardians, 8-3. to three. Rays over the Pirates, 2-4. to four. White Sox over the Orioles, 4-3. to three. Twins over the Rockies, 6-3. to three. A's over the Royals, 5-3. to three. Brewers over the Blue Jays, 10-3. to three. Cubs over the Cardinals, 6-5-10. to five and ten. Nats over the Rangers, 6-4. to four. Reds over the Giants, 10-3. to three. Angels over the Mariners, 2-1. to one. D-backs over the Tigers, 11-7. Phils over the Padres, 8-5. And the Dodgers over the Braves, 5-3 in 11 innings. Okay, now we look ahead to today's games. There's only 9 games. Or maybe 10 games tonight. Let's see. 9. All right, 7 o'clock, you have the A's at the Yankees. Paul Blackburn and Jordan Montgomery, both pitchers have the same ERA, ironically enough. Um, the Yankees minus 310, A's plus 250, over under 8.5, over minus 108, unders minus 112. A's plus 1.5 is minus 1, or plus 128, Yankees minus 1.5 is minus 154. This is a hard one. Um, But... I'm going to go with the first half under total runs, minus 104. I don't necessarily love the pick, but the case is that um, both Blackburn and Montgomery pitch well and then the Yankees break out 
against the A's bullpen. Um, next up, uh, the Pirates at the Nationals. We don't know who's going for Pittsburgh, and Eric Feet's going for Washington. The line is not posted yet on FanDuel and DraftKings. Doesn't have it either. Red Sox, Blue Jays from Toronto. Big series. Um, Connor Siebold making his debut for Boston against Kevin Gossman. Blue Jays minus 184. Red Sox plus 154 over under 9. Overs minus 120. Unders minus 102. Red Sox plus 1.5 is minus 128. Blue Jays minus 1.5 is plus 106. I'm laying the run line with the Blue Jays. Over 70% chance to win according to ESPN Analytics. Against the rookie. Um, Twins Guardians. Sonny Gray and Tristan McKenzie. Twins minus 120, Guardians plus 102, over under 8, overs minus 106, unders minus 114. Twins minus 1.5 is plus 150, Guardians plus 1.5 is minus 182. I'm going with the Guardians, 51.4% chance Guardians to be in analytics, and they're plus 102. 745, Marlins, Cardinals, Pablo Lopez and Adam Wainwright. Great, enticing series coming up. Um, Cardinals minus 132, Marlins plus 112, over under 7.5, overs minus 118, unders minus 104. Marlins plus one half is minus one eighty four. Cardinals minus one half is plus one fifty two. I'm gonna go with first half result. Marlins plus one fifty, but I don't feel good about it. Eight o'clock. Rangers Royals. Martin Perez and Chris Bubik. Rangers minus one thirty six. Royals plus one sixteen over under eight and a half. Overs minus one hundred six. Unders minus one fourteen. Rangers minus one half is plus one thirty. Royals plus one half is minus one fifty six. Martin Perez has been really good for Texas this year, amazingly enough. But Chris Bubik's been god awful. Um, I'm gonna go with the under eight and a half minus one fourteen, based on Perez alone, and I just don't see uh, Texas going over a lot. Um, eight thirty Dodgers Rockies, Tyler Anderson and Chad Cole. Dodgers minus 205, Rockies plus 172 over under 6, overs minus 106, unders minus 114. Dodgers minus 1.5 is minus 132, Rockies plus 1.5 is plus 110. Um, I'm going under 12 minus 14, 114, that's too high. Um, 930, White Sox Angels, Lucas Giolito and Noah Syndergaard. Angels minus 134, White Sox plus 114 over under 8.5, minus 10 each way. White Sox plus one half is minus two hundred. Angels minus one half is plus one sixty four. Um, kind of like the over. Lucas Giolito hasn't been that great this year, and Syndergaard has been a little bit of a slump after a good start. And ten o'clock, the Orioles at the Mariners. Tyler Wells and George Kirby. Um, Mariners minus one sixty two. Orioles plus one thirty six. Over under seven half. Overs minus one fifteen. Unders minus one hundred five. Orioles plus one half is minus one fifty six. Mariners minus one half is plus one thirty. Um, this is a hard one, but I'm going to go with the over, banking on a bullpen to implode. Okay, now I'll move on to the WNBA. We will recap the games from the weekend, and I believe there are some games today, actually, after some Mondays off. Friday, Liberty over to Dream, 89-77 in Commissioner's Cup. Liberty, 8-10, and 10, Atlanta, 8-9. Saturday, Mercury over to Wings, 83-72. The Mercury, 7-12. Dallas, 9-10. Sparks over to Storm, 85-77. The Sparks, 7-10. The Storm, 11-7. Mystics over to Aces, 87-86 in overtime. The Mystics, 12-9. And Las Vegas, 13-4. Sunday, Commissioner's Cup, Sun over to Dream, 72-61. The Sun, 13-6. The Dream, 8-10. And, and the Sky over to Wings, 88-85. The Sky, 13-5. Minnesota, 5-14. Two games today, 10 o'clock. You have the Fever and the Mercury. The Fever, 5 and 14. The Mercury are 7 and 12. Um, the Mercury are 7 half point favorite, so it's 165 and a half. Um, this is a tough one, but I'm going to go with the under. 
And 10.30 on NBA TV, if the Aces and the Sparks, the Aces are 13-4 and four and the Sparks are 7-10. and 10. The Aces are 6.5 point favorites, so it's 174.5. I'm going to go with the Sparks getting the points. Um, they won't win the game, I don't think, but the money line plus 225 is intriguing. But the WNBA money lines have, on the underdogs have been kind to me this year in terms of giving them out. But if there's an underdog, I like to win outright tonight. It's the Sparks, but I don't know if they'll actually do it, but I'm going to take the points just in case, plus 6.5. All right, now I'll move on to Major League Soccer. We will go over... The results from the week. And I don't believe that there's any games today. There's not games until Wednesday. Friday, Cincinnati over Orlando, 1-0. Saturday, Seattle over Kansas City, 3-0. Nashville over D.C., 3-1. Club Football Montreal over Charlotte, 2-1. Toronto over Atlanta, 2-1. Houston over Chicago, 2-0. Miami over Minnesota, 2-1. Austin and Dallas, 2-2 draw. Salt Lake and Columbus, 0-0 draw. In Portland over Colorado, 3-0. Sunday, LAFC over the Red Bulls, 2-0. Philadelphia over NYCFC, 2-1. And Vancouver, New England, 0-0 draw. So, some big results in soccer. Especially Philly beating NYCFC. Philly's now in first in the East. But NYCFC is a game in hand, two points back. But that was a big win for the Union to to, uh, reclaim first in the... uh, in the East, and that was a combination of uh, New York losing to LAFC, and although Montreal did beat Charlotte, but it didn't matter. But a lot of things helped out in that regard in soccer. So we'll get back to soccer Wednesday when there's more action. All right, the Men's College World Series. Um, it wrapped up this weekend. Um. So Saturday, Ole Miss over Oklahoma, ten to three, to win game one. And then Sunday, Ole Miss over Oklahoma, four to two, to win game two, and wins the men's college World Series championship final in the national championship. So congrats, to Ole Miss. Um, I saw something crazy. There was one point in the season where they were last place in the SEC. They were eliminated in the first round of the SEC tournament. And here they are as men's college series, men's college world series champions. So what an odd turn of events for Ole Miss. But ultimately they're the champions and that's what matters. So congrats to Ole Miss as they sweep Oklahoma, which is incredible. All right, now we are going to talk about the Wimbledon as that got on their way today. Um, so, going on right now, you have three seed Casper Rudd and Albert Ramos Vinolas. I would think Rudd in three sets there. Also on the right. Maximilian Martyr and Elijah's Bedin. I'm going to go with Bedin and f- four. Or I'm sorry, uh, Martyr and four. And also going on right now, 30C Tommy Paul and Fernando Verdasco in the third set. I'm going to say Paul wins this in three. I think he'll wrap it up. In this third set here. And kicking off just about now. uh, Once he know back Djokovic. And. um, Sumu Kwan. I'm going to say Djokovic wins that in three going away. Um, And some more going off. Um. Nine seed Cameron Nori and Pablo Andujar. Um, Nori's up one 0 right now. Um, I'm gonna say uh, Andujar makes this a little interesting. Nori closes out in four. Um, also going on right now, twenty two seed Nicolos uh, Bolshevi 
and Lucas Rosal. I'm going to say um, Basile Shivi wins that in four sets. Um, also going on right now, um, Alejandro Dadovich Fakina in 17, Hubert Hurkaz. I'm going to say um, Hurkaz wins this in four. Benoit Pierre and Quinton Haley's. I'm going to say that, hmm, Pierre in four sets. Thiago Montiero and Jaume Munar right now as well. Um, Munar, I think, is going to win that in four sets. Adrian Manorino and Max Purcell. Um, I'm going to say Manorino in four. Um... Tomas Martin Echeverry and Hugo Humbert. I'm going to say Humbert wins that in four. 23 seed Francis Tiafo and Andrea Vavasori. Going on right now, I'm going to say Tiafo probably closes that out in three. And then, other than the Djokovic match, the rest of them that are. Um, Going to start soon or later on. Um, 8.45, you have Enzo Kwasad and 20 seed John Isner. I'm going to say uh, Isner wins that in four sets. The Nasi Kukinanis and Camille Mondrasrak. I'm going to say uh, uh, Kakanakis in four. Alejandro Tabio and Lasso Dare. I'm going to say Dare in four. Theresa Coria and Jiri Vesely. I'm going to say Vesely in three. John Millman in 25 seed. Milmar Kekmovic. I'm going to go Kekmovic in five. I think Millman will put up a fight here. Um, Jan Leonard Struff in five seed. Carlos Alcaraz. I'm going to say Alcaraz wins that in four. 10 seed. Janik Sinner and Stan Warinka. I'm going to say Sinner in five. Daniel Altemeyer and Mikel Yamer. I'm going to say Altemeyer in four. Tim Van Richeven and Federico Del Bonas. I'm going to say Del Bonas in four. Dusan Lajevic and 16 seed Pablo Carreno Busta. I'm going to go Carreno Busta in four. Talon Rigspor and Fabio Fognini. I'm going to say Fognini in four. Jake Clark and Chris Harrison. I'm going to say Clark in four. 32 seed Oscar Ott and Peter Gajosevic. I'm going to go Javosevic in a little bit of an upset in four. Alexander Bublik and Marton Fuskovitz. I'm going to go. Bublik in five. I think that's going to be a great match. Carlos Taberner in 15 seed. Riley Opelka will go Opelka in four. Ryan Penniston and Henry Laxanen. We're going to go Laxanen in four. Steve Johnson in 18 seed. Grigor Dimitriov. I'm going to go Dimitriov in four. Taro Daniel in 31 seed. Sebastian Baez will go Baez in three. David Goffin and Radu Elbot. We're going to go with Elbot and four, but I don't feel good about it. And Andy Murray and James Duckworth. We're going to go Andy Murray in four sets. And now the women's singles um, going on right now. You have Merjam Bajorklin and three seed on Shabor. I'm going to say Jabor wraps it up in two. Um, Katerina Sinyakova and Maja Cholinska. Ooh. Could Cholinska do it? I'm going to say... I would have thought Sinyakova in two, but... I'm going to go Sinyakova in three just because... To make things interesting here. Um, 2019 and Hila... Kalidina and Anna Bondar. We're going to go 
Um, Kalanina in three. You have Yelena in Elbone and 2018 Allison Risk. Risk is going to wrap that up in two, I think. And the last one that's going on right now is Jody Anna Barrage and Lizia Serenko. I'm going to say Serenko wraps that up in two. Um, Coming up shortly, uh, Rebecca Marino and Katarzyna Kawa. I'm going to say Kawa wins that in three. Bernarda Para in two seed. Annette Contevit. We're going to go Contevit in two. Camelia Osorio in 24 seed. Elise Mertens. We'll go Mertens in two. Katja Juvon in 23 seed. Beatrice Haddad Maya. We're going to go Haddad Maya in two. Seven seed. Daniel Collins and Marie Buzkova. We're going to go Collins in two. Alexandra Krunik and 26 seed. Serana Cerstia, we're going to go Cerstia in two. Clara Tawson in my Hantama, we're going to go with Hantama in three. Don't feel good about it, though. Julie Niemeyer and Ziyu Wong, we're going to go Niemeyer in three. Caroline Garcia and Yukiro Maizaki. We're going to go Garcia in two. 31 seed Kaya Kanepi and Diane Perry. We'll go Kanepi in two. Madison Ingles and Dalma Goffley. We're going to go Ingles, Ingles in two. 22 seed Martina Trevisan and Alyssa Beta Cacaredo. We're going to go Trevisan in two. Tamara Korpach and Heather Watson. We're going to go Watson in three. 14 seed Belinda Benchik and Wong Kiang. We're going to go Benchik in three. Tamara Zinisek and Pana Udvari. We're going to go Zinisek in three. Magda Lynette and Fernanda Contreras Gomez. We're going to go Lynette in two. Allison Van Udovic and Emma, 10 seeded Emma Radicano. We're going to go Radicano in three. Lucia Bronzetti and An Lee. We're going to go Bronzetti in. Two. Astra Sharma and Tajana Maria. We're going to go Maria in three. 15 seed Angelique Kerber and Christina Lanovic. We're going to go Kerber in three. Marta Katsuk and Katie Swan. We're going to go Katsuk in two. Five seed Maria Sakari and Zoe Hibbs. Hives. We're going to go Sakari in two. Yanina Wickmeyer and Zhu Lin. We're going to go with. Sue Lin in three. Don't feel good about it, though. Daria Savali and Victoria Tomova. We're going to go with um, Savali in two. Um, Oceani Doden in 12 seed. Jelena Astapenko. Astapenko in two. 33 seed Zhang Suhai and Miss Guy Doi. We're going to go Suhai in two. Ekaterin Gorgozi and Irina Camelia Begu. We're going to go Begu in two. And the first round between Madison Keys and Miss Guy Doi has been canceled. So I think Madison Keys is out of the tournament for some reason, which is um not great for the sport first round continues tomorrow and now we'll move on to pga um results from the travelers championship and your winner with the score of 19 under the guy i should have picked xander shoffley tied for second with 17 under c theglia and jt potts in fourth place with 15 under michael thug jorsen Fifth place with 14 under Chase and Hadley. Tied for sixth with 12 under Kevin Kisner and Keith Mitchell. Tied for eighth with 11 under Brian Harmon, Trezor V, Scott Stallings, Nate Hardy, and William McGirt. Tied for, I'm sorry, Nick Hardy. Tied for 13th with 
10 under Tony Finau, Webb Simpson, Martin Laird, Patrick Cantlay, Scotty Scheffler, John Ha. Tied for 19th with 9 under Luke List, Rory McIlroy, Matthew Neesmith, Harry Ingich, Kangui, Keegan Bradley, Nate Lashley, Ryan or Moore. Wait, my mistake. Lashley and Ormore tied for 25th with 8 under, along with Brandon Haas, Adam Svevson, Lucas Hodges, Brendan Steele, Seamus Power, Adam Long, Kevin Stroman, Mackenzie Hughes. Tied for 35th with 7 under, Sam Ryder, Charles Howlett, Wyndham Clark, Robert Streb, and Chris Goderip. Tied for 40th with 6 under, Aaron Ray, Matt Wolf, and Michael Gillick. Tied for 43rd with 5 under, Hal Varner III, Conrad Schindler, and Hayden Buckley. Tied for 46th with 4 under, Tommy Fleetwood, Mark Hubbard, um, Andrew Novak, Tyler Duncan, Adam Ponda, Matt Wallace, and Ben Silverman. Tied for 53rd with 3 under, Stuart Sink, Paul Bargen, and Matthias Schwab tied for 56th with 2 under, Jonas Blix, Cam Davis, Kelly Kraft, Taylor Moore, and Hank Lebiota. Tied f- oh, and uh, Joseph Romada and Lucas Donald. How'd I miss them? Um, 63rd with 1 under, Adam Cook. Tied for 64th and even Davis Riley, Patton Kazir, and Peter Malnati. Rest of the notables. Um, 69th with 4 over was Joel Dahman. Lucas Glover and Henry Higgs were tied for 70th with 5 over. Among those cut, Stefan Yeager, Roger Sloan, Saibu Kim, Mito Pereira, Bryce Garnett, Cam Triangle, B.O. Hostler, Grayson Sig, Doc Redman, Trey Merritt, Kramer Hickok, Vincent Whaley, Charlie Hoffman, Rory Sabatini, Brian Stewart, Davis Lipsky, Mark Leishman, Sam Burns, Ryan Palmer, Henrik Norlander, Adam Shank, Doug Gibb, Brant Snecker, Chengson Pong, Sodi Cordiara, Lucas Griffin, Adam, I'm sorry, Andrew Landry, Emiliano Grio, Joaquin Herman, Jordan Spieth, who was my pick, um, Dylan McCarthy, Cam Thompson, Sam Piercy, Chad Ramey, Dolby Vanderwall, Trey Molinax, um, Seb Straka, Joaquin Neiman, Ricky Fowler, Alex Smalley, Ben Coles, Brandon Wu, Russell Knox, JG. J.J. Spawn, Zach Johnson, Jason Day, Jonathan Vegas, Dylan Fratelli, Bohog, Cam Champ, um, Brandon Hagee, Max McGreevy, Taylor Hogue, James Hahn, Nate Watney, Matt Trainer, Richie Wierenski, Seth Reeves, Carlos Ortiz. Um, Jason Kokrak was disqualified, and Danny Lee withdrew. All right, now I'm going to go over NASCAR results. From the weekend, um, truck series from Nashville, your winner was Ryan Priest. Coming in second was Zane Smith. Third, Chase and Hosvar. Fourth, Ty Majeski. Fifth, Stuart Fries invited by Carson Hosvar. My mistake. Sixth, Christian X. Seventh, Tyler Ankrum. Eighth, Max Gutierrez. Ninth, John Hunter Michek. 10th, Matt Kraft, and the rest, Derek Krause, Chase Purdy, or Ben Rose, Chase Purdy, Dean Thompson, um, Chandler Smith, Colby Howard, Chris Wright, Blaine Perkins, Jesse Little, Parker Kligerman, Caden Honeycutt, Stefan Parsons, Timmy Hill, Lawless Allen, Spencer Boyd, Nick Leeds, Ty Bodine, Haley Deegan, Chris Hecker, um, Tanner Gray, Matthew Mazzetto, Grant Effinger, Corey Heim, Camden Murphy, Jack Wood, and Chase Janes. Xfinity from Nashville. Your winner, Justin Alliger, coming in second. Trevor Bain, third, Riley Herbst, fourth, Ty Gibbs, fifth, Sam Meyer, sixth, Ryan Priest, seventh, Jeremy Earnhardt, eighth, Austin Hill, ninth, Ryan Sieg, tenth, Brad Moffitt, the rest, Brandon Brown, Parker Ratzlaff, Noah Gragson, Brandon Jones, Stefan Parsons, AJ Almendinger, that was my pick, um, Daniel Hemrick, Landon Castle, Ryan Vargas, Anthony Alfredo, Tyler Riddick, Jeremy Clements, 
Alex Lab, Ryan Ellis, Kyle Sieg, Patrick Emerling, Myatt Snyder, BJ McLeod, Josh Berry, Dylan Bassett, Bailey Curry, Natalie Decker, JJ Yaley, Josh Williams, Jeb Burton, Sheldon Creed, Joe Graff Jr., and Kyle Weatherman. And the Cup Series. Your winner, Chase Elliott, second, Kurt Busch, third, Ryan Blaney, fourth, Kyle Larson, fifth, Ross Chase, and sixth, Denny Hamlin, seventh, Austin Sindrick, eighth, Chris Bell, ninth, Joe Legano, tenth, Kevin Harvick, the rest, Eric Jones, Bubba Wallace, Michael McDowell, Austin Dillon, Daniel Suarez, Ricky Stiles Jr., Eric Amarola, Tyler Riddick, A.J. Allmendinger, Corey LaJoy, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., that was my pick, Justin Haley, Todd Gillan, Harrison Burton, Cole Coster, Cody Ware, J.J. Daly, Brad Kozlowski, Chris Boucher, Ty Dillon, B.J. McLeod, Josh Baliki, Chase Briscoe, William Byron, and Alec Bowman. All right, next weekend, they're at Road America, which is always fun. No trucks. It's the other two that are at Road America. Trucks isn't back until net the following weekend. So um, just um, Cup and Xfinity. Um, over the weekend. All right, now I'll move on to news and notes, which we have a lot to get to today because we had a very eventful weekend. Um, some Stanley Cup stuff. Um, Nate McKinnon says he isn't sure that the Avs can repeat because he may get fat as shit right now, which is so funny. For uh, Nate McKinnon to say. And there's a lot of celebration obviously. And they deserve it. Um, Nikita Kucherov. Rage quits as he threw his gloves at. The Tampa equipment manager. When he needed a new stick in the final 20 seconds. And then also what McKinnon did was drink from a cup. Nazem Kadri said, kiss my ass, as he did not hold back post-game to the haters. We mentioned this earlier, Cal McCarr, um, 29 points in the postseason in 20 games, which is incredible. Um, and Friday, when they lost to um, the Lightning in Game 5, McCarr cursed out at the refs. After he was heated of a no call. That's what I didn't like about the final. All these teams complaining about the the no calls. There's a, a ton of bad ones in the postseason. And just got to take advantage of them. If it goes in your favor. Miami quarterback recruit Jaden Rashada commits um, inks $9.5 million with Hurricanes booster John Ruiz. So that's crazy. To a really big NIL deal. Jazz Chisholm Jr. exits game early Friday night against the Mets with back spasms. Brutal loss for the Dodgers. Daniel Hudson tore his ACL against the Braves. That's a big loss for their bullpen. Bryce Harper fractured his left thumb on Saturday night after a hit by pitch. Good news for the Rockies. Um, Chris Bryant will be back tonight against the Dodgers after missing over a month. Ronald Acuna Jr. Um, uh, hit his foot um, after fouling a ball off of it. The, not a fracture, but he couldn't put weight on it, unfortunately. The Yankees are apparently talking to the Reds about Luis Castillo, which would be amazing if the Yankees were to add him. The rich would only get richer. Um, Something really cool that Aaron Judge did, he uh, gave Spike Lee the walk-off bat from yesterday. That was so awesome. Um, WSJ reports that Deshaun Watson may be out indefinitely. 
lasting no less than one year. And then ESPN reports that Jacoby Brissett and not Baker Mayfield will be the starting quarterback if Watson gets suspended, which is insane. They gotta trade Baker. They just have to at this point. Um Debo Samuel officially has not rescinded his trade request, and the team is still hopeful they can mend the relationship. Um so so crazy baseball stuff. Um obviously um Dodgers were in Atlanta, Freddie Freeman back home. He got his ring. Obviously the crowd gave him a warm welcome back. And there's a ton of tears. Um we talked about the Yankees getting no hit and the no hit streak extended into Sunday. Sixteen innings, then Giancarlo Stanton got them off the schneid with the big home run. And there was a huge brawl yesterday in the Angels Mariners game. Eight ejections. Um so Jesse Winker got hit by a pitch, and that's how this brawl happened. And this was a big one. This is probably the brawl of the year so far that didn't involve Tommy Pham and uh, Jack Peterson. Um, Draymond Green doesn't think that a LeBron Kyrie reunion will help the Lakers beat the Warriors. I mean, of course, he's Draymond thinks the Warriors are always the best team. Hornets rehire Steve Clifford five year deal after the five year stint that he that he had that ended in two thousand eighteen. So Steve Clifford back to Charlotte. So that's interesting. I mean, the roster is completely different from when it was when he coached there previously. But we'll see if he can get a lot um out of him. Um Bradley Beal likely to stay in D.C. as he's expected to decline his player option and resign with the Wizards on the five-year max deal worth $248 million. But a lot of people think it's going to potentially be a sign and trade, but we shall see. OKC likely to trade Jermichael Green as they'll find him a situation that's not with them after getting them in the draft they trade with Denver. Damian Lillard and Yusuf Nurkic um, posted an edit of Kevin Durant in a Blazers jersey, so that's really interesting. The Utah Jazz are eyeing um, Will Hardy for its head coaching job, um, who is the Celtics' uh, lead assistant um, under Ime Adoku. Um, this makes sense because of the Danny Age connection. So, um, would not be shocked if that's the guy for them. A lot of Kyrie to the Lakers chat, and um, the chatter is somewhat substantive amid Kyrie's negotiations with the Nets. We'll see how that goes. The Pistons may back off DeAndre Ayton. After the Jalen Duran trade on draft night. The New York Knicks made a statement to their fans on when, on Friday afternoon. After many people were upset after um, a confusing draft night. I said this on the Friday show. If New York has a plausible plan in place and it comes into fruition then you can't kill them for training out of the first round. And a lot of people already saying like, oh we're gonna they're gonna get Tyus Jones. And of course that's like the joke and the that's what the Knicks are ultimately gonna do. Cause they like history says that they're not gonna get the guy because they always fail in that regard. And they're trying for Jalen Brunson who 
was the perfect fit for them. But I don't even know if he um, is that perfect of a fit. Like, from an age standpoint, sure, but are you sure he's not the uh, point guard Julius Randle where he's just overpaid and not a number one option on a good team? But what the Knicks are really banking on is R.J. Barrett to be the guy, which not inconceivable. Like, how long did it take Jason Tatum to become the guy? who was also a number three overall pick in the draft. But the difference between the two players, obviously, is that Jason Tatum's been on a contender his whole life, and R.J. Barrett's been on losing teams other than the uh, COVID season in which they uh, lost to the Hawks in five. So we'll see what happens. Um, Giants rookie Kayvon Thibodeau tweaked his hit in camp. As the injury is considered minor, and he's expected to be ready for the start of training camp. So the Blackhawks' new head coach is actually Luke Richardson. After it was reported to be somebody else, um, so interesting uh, hire. For Chicago, um, he was an assistant um, with the Islanders. He was an assistant to Claude Julian with Montreal. And he was um, an interim head coach in Game 3 of the Stanley Cup semifinals against Vegas when um, Dominique Ducharme tested positive for COVID. So, that is very um, interesting. Um, He was an AHL coach. So, um, he has some experience. Um, We'll see how he does with um, the Blackhawks here. Um, Barry Trotz turns down the Winnipeg Jets job. As he decided not to immediately jump back into coaching. So, it looks like he's not going to get the Bruins job either. So, I guess he's going to wait it out to see what becomes open. Maybe um, maybe he thinks something else will open up within the next several years that he's aiming for. Um, the Cubs designate Jonathan VR for assignment after uh, he signed the one-year $6 million contract in the offseason. Um... This is really neat. The Phillies called up Mark Appel, age, age 30. He was a number one overall pick. Obviously, didn't work out. But it's just so re- really cool that he got this moment after so long. And I mean, it didn't work out because he um, was probably thought out to be in the big leagues much sooner than um, he got there. LAFC is finalizing a deal to sign Gareth Bale. So that's a big signing for LAFC that I think could help put them over the top in terms of favorites to win the MLS Cup. The Mercury and Tina Charles parted ways and she signed with the Seattle Storm after the Mercury bought her out of the contract. I like that signing for Seattle. Let's see if uh, Charles plays um, better here than she did with Phoenix. Um, All-star head coaches are Becky Hammond and Chicago side head coach James Wade. So James Wade and Becky Hammond are the two Um. Coaches for the All-Star team, so that's pretty cool. The NFL announces that they will not hold a supplemental draft for a third consecutive year. I think that's the right call. Um, Who participates in that anyway? Like Everybody just seems like they pass on that opportunity. So I won't be shocked if they get rid of it altogether. 
Um, and then Deshaun Watson, the hearing begins Tuesday as he'll have a hearing before the disciplinary offer and the league expected to push for lengthy suspension. We'll see how that goes. And it's supposed to be over a year, as we talked about earlier on the show. And obviously the big story from the weekend, from a non-sports-related standpoint, um, Roe versus Wade, Roe v. Wade got overturned, which is causing a lot of controversy in the media. And you have people in sports speaking up about it as well. And then um, it was also reported that Planned Parenthood is to kick off the New York City Pride March on Sunday, which an organizer announced, which was following the um, Scottish ruling. So that's also very, very interesting. All right, best bet of the day. Brought to you by FanDuel. Um, There's a couple that I liked in baseball. A couple totals. Um, Obviously, Best Bet was a loser on Friday night when I had the Rays run line. But here, I'm going to go. Went down to 11 and a half. But I'm still going to go at the under in the Dodger game. Um, I just think that's too high. So under 11 half between the Dodgers and the Rockies will be my best bet of the day. All right, so that's it for today's show. I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything, look ahead to everything tomorrow. Um, we have some primaries to do, including uh, New York governor, which is a big one. Um, and... Also, we'll do an NHL mock draft on the show tomorrow as well. Hope you guys have a great day, everyone.